Philadelphia schools are staying virtual. Yeah, they are not going back to the classroom right now. On November 30th, that is when kids in pre-K through second grade were supposed to walk back through these doors and return to hybrid learning. That's not going to happen now, as the Philadelphia School District has decided it's just not safe to return kids to the classroom. Some kids need that social um, connection. Which is what Janae uh, Simmons was hoping her children would get when they return to school. They've been waiting since March. Now they'll have to wait longer. We have decided to remain 100% virtual at this time. Citing information from the city and state health departments, the school district of Philadelphia decided to push back its transition to hybrid learning, which was going to occur in phases, with the youngest elementary kids back on November 30th, working up to high schoolers in January. Transition into hybrid learning and having students engage in face-to-face -face instruction with teachers is our goal, but our top priority is the health and well-being of our students and our staff. I think that's a good thing to do because you want to make sure everybody's safe. The decision comes as Philadelphia reaches its highest single day number for coronavirus, 879 new cases for a total number of 49,775. And the city's top doctor thinks it'll only get worse. We anticipate further rapid increases of this infection here in the city of Philadelphia. There's no question, this is a dangerous period. This is possibly the worst period of the epidemic. While the schools are empty, the district will work on improvements, especially to the ventilation systems. If they can't guarantee that the ventilation in the buildings is right, and uh, a lot of schools can't have six feet apart. Right now, there's no timeline for when students might get back into the classroom. Anxiety inducing for parents like Simmons. I had to actually quit a job to stay home with them. Trying to adapt as kids learn at home while hybrid is on hold. It's difficult for parents as well as students, but at this point, I guess we just have to kind of make it work. Now, the Philadelphia Federation of Teachers released a statement agreeing with this decision. That statement says, in part, quote, returning to school buildings in any capacity is unsafe right now, end quote. Now, while the students stay at home, the district will continue to provide services like tech support and free meals. We're live in Spring Garden, Toronto Thomas, Channel 6 Action News. Jim.